G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. So this is a, we're up to number 71 already. Um, so basically what this is, is an 8-board uh, BBO tournament that you can play. If you go onto like the web client, uh, you can even play it on iPads and things, but if you go onto the web client, all you have to do is click Solitaire Bridge, and there you can find it straight away. Anyway, it's a best hand tournament, um, so give it a shot if you haven't played it. Go and uh, play it now, and then we'll see how we can do. Anyway, uh, today, what I wanted to focus on... Oh, man, here. That was a mistake. Really? <laughs> uh, today, what I wanted to focus on is playing, like, bidding judgment. Like, hand evaluation and hand visualization. So, uh, people know how to count points and then just try and bid the appropriate game. But points only go so far. They work really well for balanced hands. Um, but then... There are some aspects to uh, hand evaluation that add add on to counting high card points. Um, the other thing that you can do is with unbalanced hands, high card points don't work so well. So when I get an unbalanced hand, I'll try and work through hand visualization, where I try and picture a hand that my partner can have and work out what we should do there. Anyway, uh, we'll jump right in and see what we can do. Um, so, five, 9, 11, 13 points, and a balanced hand. Um, so, talking about how good this one is. It's got 13 high card points. Good features about it include a 5 card suit. 10s uh, and 9s are also quite useful, but uh, I've only got one. It's a mm, okay-ish suit, but uh, Queen Dalton Heart's not great. So, I would say it's pretty average um, 13 count. Right, a club, a heart, a spade, I'll just bid a no trump here, which should deny um, three hearts. Uh, playing support doubles, I could double here if I had three card heart support. So if I actually bid a no trump, it just shows that I've got a minimum balanced hand, 12 to 14. I have spade stoppers, and I don't have uh, three hearts or more. So perfect description of my hand. If I had like some really bad 12, I might just pass here as well. So no need to actually do... What is going on? This is just getting weird. So pass, pass a club. Pass a heart. One spade. One no trump. Uh, two clubs natural. Two diamonds natural. Two hearts. They have a heart fit. A uh, club fit. Really? They're trying to play in clubs. My partner has a club void. Okay, so my partner is probably... A three five five zero. They've only shown four four in the red, supposedly, uh, but I don't know why they wouldn't bid one diamond if they wanted to actually show both those suits. Um, plus, if they do actually have a club fit, my partner's got no clubs, so yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna bid here. They'll bid three clubs. Pass, pass to me. Do I want to double this? So, um, right. Got some good. I've got five clubs, so clubs are five, 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 zero, three, supposedly. Um, West doesn't have a spade fit, so if they've got ace, king, jack, nine, fifth club, I've got one club trick, one diamond trick. My partner did bid a couple of things, so there's a chance that we could set up one of their suits. Um, the spades look like they're breaking nicely for them. I don't think that they're going to make this. Um, at teams, I would not be doubling this. So, I was looking at this balanced hand and thinking that I didn't need to do hand visualization, but even with this balanced hand, it's really valuable. Just thinking about the play a bit, trying to work out what we can actually do. Um, so, what do I need from my partner to actually beat this? So, if I've got a good suit and we just start attacking it, I could don't think they'll be able to set up any tricks outside of that. So if my partner doesn't have... Com I've got 8 to 12 total points. So if we can set up one of my partner's red suits and force West to rough once, I'll have more trumps than them and we might be able to cause them some grief. So I'm going to double. Um, but I'm not convinced. There is a chance that they might make this. Okay, so my partner bid 3 diamonds. I'm happy with that. I do think there's definitely a penalty double. Um, but my partner's got their void, they've got their 5-5 five, five shape. 
So basically what I want now is that three clubs just goes one off and three diamonds mates. So, um, okay, they've even got a club. So, all right. Anyway, let's plan the play. Uh, we've got two heart losers. We have a club loser and a spade loser. If the ace of spades is on site, that's okay. If diamonds break, um, alright, so what do we know? So if I draw trumps and they're 3-2 and I play a heart, they can play club, club, and a rough. But after that, uh, they don't have too much communication between the hands. I am considering playing a heart a little bit earlier, but I don't think that actually gains me anything. So. I will just draw trumps and play on hearts, try and set them up. If diamonds are 4-1, which they could be. No, they're 3-2. So, I'll draw trumps and keep track of West Shep. Ooh, they pitched a club. So, East has three diamonds, five spades, probably only two clubs, because I do trust West actually has their club bid, whereas this East bid, bid might just be a bit stuck. So I reckon East is a 5-3-3-2. Anyway, we'll pull a low heart. Okay, and West might get a bit stuck here. No, low club. That's brave. Okay. Alright, so entries to this North Hand are in Important. I think East is out of uh, clubs here. So I'll just pull a low spade and now just give up a heart. Cash a spade. And is my heart good or is the nine still out? 21%. Hmm. Okay, so three clubs went down one. Someone made three diamonds, so... I definitely was cold. I forgot about the nine, so heart to that. Hmm. Sloppy there, not thinking about the nine of hearts. But maybe I should finesse the nine of hearts. Right. East does have the hand shape that I was thinking. So let's see where I actually went wrong. Low diamond. And at this stage... Drawing trumps is fine. So ace of diamonds and a diamond. Alright. Low heart. Perfect. And they return a low club to the king. And a club back to the jack. Which I rough. So at this stage, again I have to play a spade. So that's fine. And now... I just have to play a heart to the eight. I just have to guess that where the hearts are. So I do pretty much know East shape is a five three three two. I know where the king of hearts is, so I know West is longer in that. So playing a heart back to the ten is hoping that West has uh, the king of hearts. Anyway, if I did finesse, that was up around ninety two percent. Lots of people just passed out three clubs and got fifty seven percent. But it was going one down, so I would have been happy defending three clubs. Um, I really think that my double should be penalties. Uh, but, yeah, a bit punished there. But I was pretty sloppy, I'm not realising that the nine was still out. Anyway, uh, that was board number one. Nice slow start to ease my way into it. And now a flat 12 count. One club, two spades, weak jump shift, three spades, Q raise, four spades, the law. So double is 14 to 21 high card points. Pass is no suitable call. 11 to 21 high card points. So I guess I'm meant to pass, even though I kind of want to double. Like, my hand isn't conducive to us playing in five minor. But if my partner's got a stiff spade, it's actually not bad. So, again, we come back to hand visualization. Um, my if they've bid to four spades based on the law and they've got a ten card fit, my partner has a singleton trump. They're only saying they might have a doubleton, which is entirely possible. 
But if my partner's got, say, five clubs to the ace-queen, and they need a bit more, so ace-queen of hearts and a singleton um, spade, while it won't be a good slam, you might make 12 tricks. So I guess I'm meant to pass here. I, I don't think my ace of spades is wasted. Like, um, And my partner wanted to double. So let's leave that there. I think there's lots of hand, hands where five clubs will make, but I'm not going to go ahead and bid it. Okay. What did Dummy come down with? Um, 11 high card points, 4, 5, 2, 2. Partner swung the jack of hearts at this, which they flew with the ace. So my partner does have their singleton spade. West has something like queen jack to six spades. So they're a 6 3 2 2 shape or 6 3 3 1. Um, my partner doesn't have four hearts, so. Yeah, West could either has a singleton or doubleton heart. I don't think that my partner has one heart and one spade and chose to double. So, I would suspect that my partner is like a 1-3-4-5 uh, hand shape, and that will give Wes 6 spades, 1 heart, and uh, 2 clubs and 4 diamonds. That's a pretty good hand for that, with Queen Jack 6th spade. But the robots are pretty conservative here. Anyway, Jack of Hearts. And they pulled a low spade. Now, they're not going to do that away from, like, if they were missing the queen. So, where are we going to get tricks from? Is drawing the other trump good or not? Because they can win and they can rough a heart. They can get back there, rough a heart. Um, is it better to try and draw trumps or set up another suit? So... I feel like we'll have two diamonds and two clubs if my partner's got the ace king of clubs and the ace king of diamond and the ace of diamonds, which they could have for their three spade bid. Um, if I return a spade at this stage, they can win it with the ten, queen of hearts, king, ace, uh, rough, spade over. I don't think that they can get there enough to uh, set up heart, so it's safe to play a spade. If I play a diamond, I don't think it really hurts playing a diamond either. Um, they'll always have two roughs, and if they've got one heart and six spades, then they've got only six minor suit cards, so we've got the four there plus the two roughs that they'll be able to get. So I think it's completely fine not to draw the trump. Um... And the question is, what do I want to play? So I think playing the King of Diamonds is okay. And I'll switch to a club. This should help my partner work out to cash out. Okay, so... Seventy-eight percent. All right, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm back to exactly even, fifty percent. All right. So what's it? Lots of uh, people doing. Four spades doubled, making. No one bid onto five clubs. So my partner was a one, three, five, four. You've got two club losers and a heart, so you can't make a game. Um. So what was the defense to a let it make? So jack of hearts, they won, spade, they ducked, spade back, they win, low club, and a club back. And now uh, the robots get to pitch a diamond. So in this case, I think it should, like, low club I really don't like. I think cashing the king of diamonds just makes it a lot more clear for partner what should be done. So in these cash out situations, try and make it as simple for your partner as possible. Anyway, uh, 78%. Uh, balance 13 count. I want to talk about bidding unbalanced hands and all I get is these constant uh, balanced ones. Um, a diamond, a spade, 
double a no trump. Um, so we have heart fit, but the opponents are vulnerable against not. They're spa they don't have a spade fit. Like bidding two hearts is okay. But I'm also considering just passing and trying to defend here. Um, I guess we have to beat it two tricks to actually for that to be beneficial. Uh, but is two hearts going to be better? So again, if we bring it back to hand visualization, what am I actually expecting from my partner? And how will this impact the play? Um, so spades are probably four, five, two, two, or four, five, three, one which will make my spades really bad. Um, East probably has a diamond stopper, maybe. Um, and it looks like the points are pretty evenly split. So I have 13, my partner has at least seven, so they're about 20 a piece. Um, we might not even be making four hearts, I, uh, two hearts, sorry. I don't know where we're actually gonna get our tricks from. Um, so, I'm going to take the lower and I'm going to try and defend. The vulnerability, getting plus 100 would be good because I don't think two hearts will make it all the time because my queen jack fourth spade is complete rubbish. King queen doubleton club is rubbish. I have the ace of diamonds and it looks like east has diamonds rather than my partner. So aces are really good for improving any honors that your partner has in the suit, but it looks like east probably has the majority of them. So I feel like we can work on hearts, we can build up hearts, and other suits will come into play. So I'm actually going to choose to pass here. And we'll work on hearts. Oh, I'll put the ace on it, please. Ah. Okay. So what do we know? Um, so low heart lead, king, eight, nine. My partner could have possibly ducked with the ace. It's not entirely, uh, <laughs> not completely silly. Um, I don't think they would have. Um, diamond to the king. If I duck this, they might want to come back and play another diamond up. But it looks like east has the king of diamonds and the ace of hearts. Now, That's nine of their points. So dummy had nine, I had 13. So East could have 11 if my partner's got seven. But I'm just gonna win and return the Jack of Hearts because one possibility is my partner's got the Ace of Hearts and East has Jack 10. But uh, we'll do this. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> so we've set up the hearts. So. It went low heart to the eight. Oh, king and eight. And then if I returned another low heart, um, they could have played low and that would have forced out my partner's ace anyway. But by playing the jack, it crushed that 10-9 uh, doubleton heart, which made my partner's hearts all good. Um, but now they've switched to a diamond, which is not what I wanted. But East might not have had an entry. So when they put up the King of Hearts, my partner won and returned a heart. The exact same thing would have happened, but it would have made it clearer for me to duck the diamond. Um... And we've got the final four tricks. But probably could have 46%. Uh, so we had three club tricks, three heart tricks, and a diamond. So I think I think we could have beaten it one. So low heart, when they miss guess here, they're now down one. So if it went low diamond here, so jack of hearts is good enough, but it could have gone jack, queen, ace, ten, and then club to me, cash my club, heart over, and we could beat it one. Whereas people that bid two hearts, the opponents competed to two spades. Does two hearts make? Uh, so three hearts is down one. So two hearts is 
is making. So, in theory, a good score. Um, but trying to hold one no trump and beat it a trick, I thought, for plus 100 would be pretty good. And there'd be some times that we could actually beat that more than that. Um, but, obviously, not when the robots are not trying to beat contracts. Anyway, 46%. That's not so good. Ah. Uh, I wonder, like, so playing the hearts, if you, you can make two hearts, possibly if you guess the heart position or something. I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, moving right on. Board number four. Uh, 14 points, two, two, five, four, five. I've got starting to get more unbalanced. Anyway, my partner opened a heart. Here I want to force the game and I'll just start with two clubs. We'll talk more about what I expect from my partner's hand a little bit later. So here we go. Three clubs. They have a club fit and they have some sort of hand. Raise of a minor. Four plus clubs, five plus hearts, 11 to 21 high card points. Well, because this is a best hand tournament, I know straight away that they're capped at 14. Um, now, they're five hearts and four clubs, so they're an unbalanced hand. They could be a 5-4-3-1 or a 5-4-2-2, two, two, most likely. Um, now, if I've got a singleton diamond, what do I need to actually make slam? So, if I've, they've got a singleton diamond and, say, king-queen fourth club and ace-king fifth heart. Uh, so, that would be 12 high card points with a 5-4-3-1 and a singleton diamond. I would lose no spades, no hearts, no clubs, and I'd have that one diamond loser and I'd have to rough the other three. Uh, the opponents may be able to draw trumps on us, but that's not too bad. Um, so I think I can bid three spades here. Really, that shows five clubs and four spades. Um, So I wanted to bid three spades and say, like, I've got spade cards, do you have diamonds covered? Because if my partner has diamond cards, then playing in three no trumps is probably a good idea. Whereas if my partner has a singleton diamond and um, support goes back to four clubs because they have nothing in diamonds, then possibly making a slam is realistic. Um, and I might be able to do this if my partner bids raises spades anyway. I like... The infam... I'm trying to work out what information I want to get out of my partner. I want to know if my partner's got a singleton diamond. And it seems to me bidding three spades is the best way to do it. I don't think it should be five, five clubs and four spades. Because we're not going to have a spade fit on this auction. Um, I think it should be like saying, Hey, I've got spade stoppers. Do you have diamond stoppers? Um, usually I don't care too much, but um, maybe I'm just getting a bit overboard. Maybe I should just bid three no trumps and be done with it. Um, sure. All right, I've talked my, like, I'd like to bid three spades on this hand, but I think my partner's, like, that description really scares me of what's going to happen with the robots. Don't have a singleton diamond. Okay, good. Wow, the opponents have a 10 card spade fit. Um, right. So I've got five club winners and two spades for seven. And I can build two heart tricks by strength. So if I just knock out the ace of hearts, that'll be good. Um, now, if the 10 of hearts comes down, I am also okay. Now... I don't want them to switch to diamonds because, although if hearts aren't breaking, I want them to switch to diamonds. If hearts are breaking, I want to do something else. Now, I could cash a couple of clubs early on, um, but I can't do any more than two clubs uh, because I want the entries between the hands. So what spade encourages them to keep playing spades? I think winning the king of spades is better. I think the ace of spades will give some information away. If east is the person that gets in with the ace of hearts, they might think that their partner has all the spades. But it's unlike, like, when you have the ace of spades, you would usually hold it up. So I think I'm going to win the king here. Alright, and we'll just catch two rounds of clubs. 
And I'll overtake this. Ah, uh, no, I won't overtake. I was thinking I want to keep entries to both hands, but I think leading a low heart towards the jack's better. Alright, so clubs are 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, that's a good card. I like seeing that 10 there. So these hearts are all good. And West one there. And another spade. So we can pitch there and make 10 tricks. Oh wait, no, make 11 tricks. Can't even count. 75. All right. Did winning the first spade change anything? So, spade lead, king. Okay, they only made 10. Surely someone won the ace of spades. All right, so ace of spades, club, heart to the jack, and another spade. So as it happened, uh, winning the spade didn't really matter. I'm not sure it should matter too much when West wins. They should really just switch to a diamond anyway, because it's very clear what is actually happening. Um, but I was more thinking of if the East hand wins the ace of hearts, I want to try and keep that alive. Whereas, yeah, I think winning the king of spades is probably the right play, but... I don't think it should have got a good board here. Anyway, um, some people are in for hearts. Not sure why. Oh, because they made a heart raise. Anyway, uh, that was board number four. So we're, we're recovering back up to 55, and we're halfway through. Um, another balanced hand. 10, 16 highs. Um, this is a really good 16 count. Um, my queen doubleton is in my partner's first bid suit. I mainly have aces and kings. Any uh, lower honours that I have, queens and jacks, are with supporting honours, except for hearts, which I know is my partner's favourite suit. And I've got like this ten of spades that's pulling really good weight. Um, so this is a really good 16 count. For a balanced hand, that is. Um, so I'll just start with one spade, two spades from my partner, simple raise. Okay, so my partner's got four spades, five hearts, and a minimum hand. So again, back to hand visualization, trying to work out what we can actually do here. So if my partner's got five hearts, four spades, what do I need from them to actually make slam? So if they've got the ace of spades, an ace king of hearts, and a singleton somewhere. So ace fourth spade, ace king to five hearts, and a singleton in either of the minors, then I would be able to get, have no spade losers, my partner would have no heart losers, um, and we've got those four minor suit cards um, that we have to deal with. I've got the two aces, but it might be possible for me to pitch two of my clubs and then rough one. Um, so I feel like slam is potentially on the card. So I want to make a slam try, but I'm being pretty optimistic here thinking about it. Um, so what can we do? So I could start by making a game try. My partner accepted that. Okay. I, I don't often see the robots accept game tries, but if they want to go on, then I feel like I should make another move. I, I really don't want a key card and just bid it, but like with the robots, there's just like no other real tools to actually do this. Um, but their maximum, let's try and bid a skinny slam. So I'll just bid four no trump. Uh, two key cards, no queen. So we've got all the key cards. I am usually I'd bid five no trumps, but here I know that there is like no way that we can actually have seven on. Like my partner's got ace fourth. Ace Jack fourth spade, Ace King Jack fifth heart. Uh, so what's that? That is twelve high card points, and King third diamond and a singleton club. We might have seven on, but like that's just stretching it too much. So I'm just going to bid six spades, and hope that this has play. Singleton diamond, and. King, Queen, 4th club. Well, they accepted with only a 3 card suit. Whew, this is going to be some hard work. 
All right. Um, okay. <laughs> I love playing slams in 4-3 fits. All right. So let's do a couple of different things. Um, if I count my losers, I have a heart loser, no spades, one heart, no clubs, and three diamonds. I could rough two of my diamonds because the, the opponents have found a really good lead here. Um, but I can't do anything with a third diamond. I could try taking a heart fast. So one line of play I have is uh, win the ace of spades, play a diamond to the ace, rough a diamond, play a club to the ace, and rough a diamond, and I still don't have any more entries. Um, so that won't work. Um, alternatively, I could try and set up hearts. Um, if hearts are 3-3, three, three, that's all good. If the heart finesse works, what can I do? So if I win... Um, if I win... The ace of spades... Play a diamond to the ace, rough, and take... Ah, oh, this hand's a nightmare. It's definitely got play. Um, I don't think it's a good slam. <laughs> um... Did I ever show five spades? No. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm very happy for my partner, except that I have a 15 count, but maybe they could be like three no trumps or something. Bit weird. Um, right. So, what if I win the spade in my hand and lead the queen of hearts? If the heart finesse fails, I can they can play another trump, which I can win. And play a diamond to the ace, rougher diamond, club to my hand, draw trumps, and pitch one diamond on the third heart, one diamond either on the good hearts or on the good club. So I think winning in my hand and taking a heart finesse is the best line of play. Alright. Queen of Hearts. Okay, so that's that's good. If I play diamond to the ace, rough a diamond, club to the ace. So basically, I have no heart losers. So now I'm down to my three diamond losers. So I can definitely rough one of them. Diamond to the ace and rough a rough it, and club to the ace and rough it, but then I can't get back to my hand. I could play, uh, so I think I s might need to guess what suits possibly breaking 3-3. Three, three. Um, what about a dummy reversal? If I lead a heart to the jack and rough a heart, Spade over and rough a heart. Then try and draw trumps. Again, I'll need uh, clubs 3-3. Three, three. Um, uh, will I need clubs 3-3? Three, three? I'll need clubs 3-3 three, three or spades 3-3. Three, three. So that's relying on two suits, either being 3-3. Three, three. Um, if I play a diamond to the ace, rough a diamond, club to the ace rough a diamond and then played like jack of hearts heart rough i am needing uh to pick which suit breaks three three really so i might try this dummy reversal play jack of hearts rough a heart um then what i can do is if spades are three three um, I can draw trumps. If spades are 4-2, I can run all my hearts, and then... Ooh, I might need to... Uh, they might be able to time when they rough in, which would cut communication. Oh, that's a nightmare as well. Oh, this hand is so tricky. Uh, Alright. I think I'm... I think I'm going to do it. Jack of hearts. And a heart rough. Alright, so that suits 3-3. Three, three. 
Um, if I play a club to the king, club to the ace, and a club up after drawing one more round of trumps, Yeah, let's only draw one round of trumps and play clubs this stage. All right, and they roughed in. So basically I'm hoping that the hand that roughed in here is the hand with four spades or if uh, spades break. So, oh, whoops. And I think I am all good. Did I play that the best way? Not a clue. There is like so many different lines of play there. Every, look, like, spades broke 3-3, three, three, hearts broke 3-3, three, three, and 14-30. <laughs> Let's just see how some other people played this one. But I will fix up my webcam first. So let's see how some other people played this one. So someone bid three clubs, four spades, four no, sort of the same thing. They got the king of diamonds lead against them. And they took a heart finesse. So king of diamonds lead is very interesting. Because um, they didn't knock out your spade entry so early, which might mean you've got a really good line there. So on the king of diamonds lead, if you win the ace, uh, rough a spade and play rough a spade play a club to the ace rough a spade high uh, jack of spades and overtake uh, you, you still don't have the entries to rough out all three so it's still really difficult you anyway, know let's say they took the heart finesse and then ace of spades jack of spades and a third spade Wow, so they were hoping that hearts are 3-3. Three, three. They just pull a heart to the jack. And they, they needed spades 3-3 three, three and hearts 3-3. Three, three. Anyway, that worked. Uh, you sing. Uh, whoops. What'd they do? Jack of clubs lead. So they bid it the same way as me, but they bid 5 no trump. They got the jack of clubs lead. And they pulled a low heart towards the queen. Another interesting idea, because if East has the king of hearts, that's fine. Um, I don't mind this at all. And they got another club. And ace of diamonds. They roughed a diamond high. Jack of spades. And then drew trumps. Okay. Ooh, they had to pitch a heart there. Um... So, they've only got two discards. Oh, wow, so... Ah, yeah, they only need two discards, that's fine. Um, heart, and another heart. So that was all okay. So, lots of different ways that this hand actually got played. Um, and I do not know what's best. So, someone else got the spade lead. They won, they pulled a low heart towards the queen, which lost. Jack of clubs, they won in there. Diamond to the ace and roughed one. Spade back, another spade, and a heart. So what did this player need if in this case? Uh, they if East has the king of hearts, they're pretty good if they hop up. If West has it, they sort of need hearts 3-3 three, three again, do they? They might have the backup chance of clubs. So leading a small heart towards the queen might be the better play, but yeah, really interesting hand. Took me ages. Anyway, 62% um, running total. So let's look at board number 6. Uh, 10, 19, 22 points in a balanced hand. Um, I usually open 2 no trumps, but the robots play that as 20 to 21. So I'll open 2 clubs and bid 2 no trumps. Show 22 to 24. I'm not worried about my small doubleton heart. That's perfectly fine. Um, this is a really good two, uh, 22 count as well, so if my partner does show any interest here by doing something other than that, I would have been very happy. 
Um, points in my long suit, small double turn, makes it really powerful for possibly looking for slam. <laughs> okay, I understand why my partner wasn't really interested here. So, Queen of Clubs lead, which looks like a singleton. I have two heart losers and a club loser, and a diamond loser that I have to deal with. If this goes club to the um, ace. Alright, so I don't want them to get the club rough. So it goes club lead. Um, now if I throw the king away, they already know that I don't have a singleton king of clubs. And it does set up their nine. Um, if I play the jack, it marks west with a singleton or a short club. And if I play the three, it does block the suit, but I don't actually need that suit for discards. I can just play like ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, rough of diamonds. So I think throwing the king away marks giving the club rough. So I'm just going to play low and see if they uh, don't do it. They didn't follow. Diamond. Okay. Get out of jail free. <laughs> they didn't find the heart switch because East didn't ret give suit preference. And why would the robots give suit preference? All right, so they've roughed once, so let's just draw trumps. Okay, trumps are all gone. Jack of clubs, ace of diamonds, rough of diamond, and pitch both my hearts and making 11. So they can definitely beat you on this. Um, curious to see what club people play there. 82% for that. All I did was not throw my king away, so... Okay, people that opened two no trumps just played there. Um, I guess they might not be used to the range that the robots played. Um, but everyone seemed to have made it. Um, yeah. Anyway, um... Ooh, someone went down. Okay, Queen of Clubs lead. Low club. That's just harsh. Uh, low club and they put the jack on it. Did I put the king on it or anything different? I don't think that should make much difference. But that person got savagely done. Um, for whatever, <laughs> whatever difference that was. I don't think that's particularly their fault there. Anyway, I'll take my 82%. Um, I think that was largely just for knowing how the robots show their point ranges. And getting to uh, four spades. Important thing to notice there, I opened two clubs, my partner has one point, but they still don't pass me in uh, two no trumps, they still forced to a game there. Alright, in rank two, running at 65. 5, 4, 2, 2, 14 count. Nice easy one, heart opening. Double, two hearts, three clubs. Um, usually you want a nine card fit to bid three of the three. But this hand's very concentrated values, and I feel like bidding it, so let's give it a shot. This isn't invitational, um, it's just I want to compete to three hearts. So, my partner has a useful hand, maybe. The opponents don't have a fit, which isn't good, um, but we don't have a lot of defensive tricks. We would have one spade, one diamond, two hearts, and nothing really else. We might be able to get a trump promotion or something like that. Anyway, um, here we are playing it. I have two club losers, I have three diamond losers, and a spade loser. So I'll have to try and uh, rough some of my um, diamonds. I have some really good hearts as well, so I might be able to get a high cross rough going. Hopefully they don't play a trump here. Nope, they switch in with a spade. Okay, and I'll just pull a diamond up. Get that. And I get a rough. Diamond towards the king. And I'm just going to lose a spade at this stage, and then I'll be able to cross rough high. So rough that. I love all the under-roughing that the robot's doing. 78. 
Nice. Lots of people in three hearts. Three clubs did make. Um, can it be beaten? No, it's cold. So here it was just really on uh, the concentration of values that made me want to bid here. We got a bit of distribution, a really good heart suit, and I didn't feel like my hand had very good defensive tricks, so that's why I didn't really follow the law of total tricks, but instead uh, bid three hearts anyway, which would usually show six, doesn't guarantee it. Um, and here, partner put down useful hand. I feel like the robots can beat it if they start drawing trumps on you early enough, but they failed to do so. Anyway, 78%, uh, I'll take it. Final board. And you know what? Just another balanced hand. So much for me wanting to talk about all these unbalanced hands, but I got stuck here with all these balanced hands. This is a pretty mediocre one. I've got 11 highs. Um, I'm in fourth seat, and this is... There's something called the Rule of 15, which is a good guide says that you add your high card points and the amount of spades that you have and that will tell you um, whether or not you should open this hand. Now I have 11 points and 2 spades so that gets to 13 which says do not open this hand. Um, I don't think it's a, it's an okay 11 count. Um, I don't have any points in my shortage but that shortage is spades. It's got very slow cards. Basically if I open this I'm trying to get to one no trump or maybe Two of a minor, but the opponents can probably bid on over that. So I feel like I'm going to pass and stop there. I don't like it, but uh, everything in my gut says to do it. If I had some decent mages or something, I'd do it. 46, ouch. So what was actually happening there? Most people passed it. Wow, your partner has 5-5 five, five in the mages and a 10 count. They had, like, the world's easiest one spade opening. Um, now, someone passed a spade, which I think is dreadful. Someone um, got to two hearts, which I guess it went um, a minor, a spade, and no trump, two hearts, and they chose to pass that, which is better. And then someone got to three no trumps, uh, which is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, finished in second, and wow, I was never going to get uh, into first, because they scored 80%. But uh, finished up with 64.7%. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.